Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 14 through the 20th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with um, a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Saggy. What's up? <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Pentacles, stability. You're trying to create that. And I see that path for you, and it's kind of looking like you're you're going up and then boom that fall happens and then you're going up again and it's normal you know it's not going to be steady necessarily so it's it's okay it's okay in the recent past you get the ace of wands the ten of cups the king of cups that's beautiful energy that's an energy that um and i kind of see this as two people coming together in that place of love and sharing that experience so there's definitely been that somewhere uh, in your past. Now, I don't know what happened there necessarily, but I see the energy and it's beautiful. Um, in the current situation, you get the Knight of Swords, the Judgment card, the Queen of Wands. You're you're really transforming. You're really changing. You're, you're in that phase of going up. And there's a lot of determination on your part for that, to, to get right into it, you know. Um, doesn't necessarily feel pretty at times, but you're in that... Um, going up phase uh now in the immediate future it's that going down phase uh four of cups ace of swords eight of swords you're kind of questioning yourself questioning what you can do what you can't it feels like you're coming from a place of discontent possibly within yourself a sense of i can't do this um even though i want to why would i and you know starting to overthink things and question things along the way um, again, normal process, so don't don't stress about it. We're all experiencing the same thing when we're uh, growing, when we're in the middle of growth. Oh, there's going to be times when we're going to fall in our heads like no tomorrow. But it is what it is. Let's do the Ten of Pentacles. The Judgment, the Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, you're heading in a good, good direction, very stable, very, um, you're creating your life, the rest of your life, basically, and it looks good, and I feel like you're taking small steps, um, it could be that someone is inspiring you, it could be that you are attached to somebody, um, where they're giving you that boost or you feel that they're giving you that boost or this could just be you the empress you know from that place of self-nurture self-care self-love just going at it you know starting to to head in the direction of your own life creating your own life let me see that ten of cups in the recent past The Hierophant, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands? It's you. It's you. It's all about you. Because I'm trying to see, is there another person that's significant to this? Or is it about you? And it's all about you. Because I see the door of love opening up. And feeling that it was more than that. It was this magical connection you had with somebody. And you're... I see you opening up fully to it, you know? Let's do the King of Cups. Ouch. Man, <laughs> as I pull the cards, I pull the first card, my heart goes whoop. I pull the second one, my heart goes whoop. And then I pull the third one, my heart goes bleh. Uh, the Sun, the Two of Cups, the Death card. Okay, so it does seem like this situation at some point ended, um, this love situation. But man, it feels good. At least it felt good to you. And I don't know, again, I'm trying to see the other person. I don't see them yet. I don't see their energy. I see what you've experienced in this. And it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty powerful. And it's looking like it gave you a boost into your own confidence, your own self, this whole situation. 
Uh, let's do the Knight of Swords. So what may have happened after it was ended or in between, I don't necessarily see, see that as mattering as much because this is clearly taking me into, yes, that happened for them so that they can get into this place that they're in right now. Um, Knight of Swords in the current situation. Two of Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you got a lot of determination on your part and the typical amount of questioning yourself, of doubting yourself, you know, um, it's there. It's But you're pulling through that. I don't see that stopping you, you know? I don't see that as an energy coming in to stop you on your tracks. Let's do the judgment card. And this is in regards to your energy is going towards building your life in the way that you want. Well, for the judgment card, you get the star, the four of wands, the ten of cups. Tied up to your emotions here, because this is an energy that makes sense. This is an energy that you feel is right for you, a path that you feel is right for you. But it's coming more from a mind space of thinking rather than deeply feeling. When it comes to deeply feeling, I see you wanting happiness. I see you wanting commitment. Uh, your desire is very similar to the energy from the past that you experienced of love. Let's do the Queen of Wands in the current situation. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You're making all the right choices. You're coming from a very balanced place between emotions and mind, right? And I see choices here in regards to stability, long-term stability. Uh, I see self-care involved in this whole process. And I see you, the more you step into this place where things align, your headspace and your heart space are aligning perfectly. I see you making the right choices, you know? So let's see what the hell is happening here in the immediate future, Four of Cups. Three of Cups, the Lovers, the Six of Wands. Well, you want that back. Because I feel like you're confusing the feeling with the person that's carrying the feeling. And you want that back. And because it's not coming back in the way that you want it, there's a sense of discontent on your side. A lot of people do that where they experience something pretty powerful. And then even though they're shifting away physically from the person, they associate the feeling with the person. And it's not that. The feeling of love is here. You want it. Just it transfers into that same exact person again because you want it to. You know? So I see you going back to that or wanting to go back to that. Let's do the Ace of Swords. Nine of Wands, the Magician, the Nine of Swords. You're trying to get moving in that direction. But man, there's a lot of uh, pain here on your side and a lot of rejection towards this. So basically you're rejecting yourself here. Uh, you're not acknowledging how you feel. You're not validating how you feel. Basically, so it's... You're stopping yourself uh, from feeling what you're feeling. But again, make sure it's the person and not the feeling or the feeling and not the person that you want. Could be two very separate things. As I said, we get stuck on people that carry certain energies that we're looking for. Um, for the Eight of Swords, you get the Page of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Chariot. Okay. See, give yourself time to go through this process because I see you're not giving yourself time to acknowledge things, to integrate things, to uh, understand what's happening here for you. It's a process you're going through um, and it's pretty much trying to figure things out for yourself in terms of what makes you happy, what doesn't. Is it a person or is it an energy? Again, back to that, because I feel like that's where the confusion comes in here strong for you. 
And from this place of not giving yourself time, there comes this explosive kind of reaction to things like I'm mad at you or uh, I want to love you and you should love me too or I don't know that kind of a, a little bit frustrated kind of and it's just sabotaging at the end of the day for you you know um because it's it's just not helpful it's just not it's not about that this whole situation is not about you getting frustrated and taking it on who knows who or um you know, it's a matter of sorting things out and you're falling into that place where there's a lot of confusion around what you want, who you want, if you want them, if you want the energy, if you're going to move on, if you're not, I keep, I keep on seeing you coming back um, to the past there. Let's see what the universe has. King of Swords, Justice card, Nine of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you're very determined to um, create balance in your life right now. And as I said, in your current situation, I see things falling into that place. But soon enough, an energy is going to hit you of, I don't know nothing anymore. And it, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly normal. Give yourself space and time to experience this too. Because I see you almost in a way trying to control the energy so that it feels balance, <laughs> balanced, but underneath it all, it's looking like it's not. So don't try to control anything. Just go with what you feel and just be patient. You know? So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.